Hey everybody. Um, so right here, one of our Gulf Fredoary chrysalises just hatched. We don't know exactly when. We would have gotten in on video if we had seen it starting. But right now, it's just starting to pump up its wings. So it'll be here for a while. Their, the undersides of their wings are so pretty they're, they're with the silver and um, fun fact that I read online when they're inside the chrysalis their bodies kind of turn into a sort of chunky soup um, so everything completely changes inside the uh, it's really hard to explain there's an article online about it though that you can read also, I'd like to mention that whenever we get a new chrysalis hatched, down here it's got like some goo, like some blood maybe, and there's some that just came out. So here's some of the older patches, and that's the new one. So, it's very interesting. We also have some shed skins in the bottom of there. Also, I think this would be a good time to mention how these are made. It, uh, the cages are made of wire, some small wire, uh, inside, mesh. like stapled in, inside of these uh, wood pieces, and the wood pieces are, I think, nailed or maybe stapled together, and so the the wire is all inside of this and this, and on the front, I, as I mentioned in one of my other uh, how to care for fritillaries videos. This just slides in. I'm not going to do it right now, though. So, the Gulf fritillary feeds on passion flower. Ours is a purple passion flower. There's also corky passion flowers and probably various other kinds, but those are the ones I know about. Uh, oh, I just realized this little caterpillar right here just shed. You can kind of see him right there. And you can see the shed skin just under him. Would you like to say something, Michael? Mm -hmm. They don't only feed on the passion flower. They, I've only seen them feeding on the passion flower once. No, I've seen them feeding on it multiple times. But they, but, but they, they also feed on other uh, plants such as um, the Mexican salvia, petunia. I think it is. Petunia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mexican petunia is one that lots of butterflies. Flies love, and we have a ton of them in front of our house. Yeah, and they just take, and they also like little tiny wildflowers that just grow in your yard randomly. Just yeah, there's a lot of them on our ground. So, also uh, while we're on the subject of things that butterflies eat, I'd like to go back to our passion flower here, and I'd like to mention that it is the host plant for the whole life cycle of caterpillars. They're really nice on mailboxes, so if you have your mailbox in some grass, then you would plant a passion flower there and it'll grow up all over it. It's really pretty. Yeah, and then you may get a... Yeah, you could get yeah. lots of butterflies yeah. and it'll attract them any day. So, that's just about it for this video. Um, hope you enjoy. Really soon, as soon as I can find a caterpillar out on there, we will bring you guys out and show you the process of collecting butter, uh, young caterpillars or eggs and then we will do some videos on how we're raising them, how often we've been collecting the uh, plants and we'll probably do some crystal hatching if we can see these guys before they, uh, well, hatch like yeah. If we can find them just as they're starting to break out, then yeah. we will do a video on that. Yeah, and maybe we can uh, make uh, make a video on one of them going into their chrysalis. That's really cool. Yes, it is. And they shed their skin right before they go into the chrysalis. They shed them in the Oh, well. Well, anyway, it's fun. Well, anyway, guys, please subscribe. Bye!